Today we got a Mishimoto oil cooler kit installation today. Uh, this is super exciting because when you keep your fluids cool, that means more seat time and more fun. Welcome back to another install on my GC8 JDM STI build. So today we got a Mishimoto oil cooler kit installation today. Uh, this is super exciting because when you keep your fluids cool, that means more seat time and more fun. Uh, the only reason why we have to back off and not have fun when whether we're toge driving or we're track driving is when fluids get too hot. Um, so this is going to be a perfect uh, solution for that. We're going to have the Mishimoto oil cooler. We have 10 AN lines and we also have the Mishimoto uh, thermostatic oil sandwich. So this is going to be a fun install. This oil cooler kit is specifically for our 2002 to 2007 WRX STI direct bolt-in. But what that kit is supposed to do is that kit is actually supposed to put it right here and this those mounting holes you see are supposed to go behind are supposed to go behind here and mount to this but my car for the gc it's a little bit smaller than the gd and the gd grills if you know the gd grills are pretty large um and this is the size of my grill right here not as big as the gd so it's not going to be able to fit right here so what i'm going to be doing is going to be making a custom little bracket <laughs> So all I'm going to be doing is making little incisions. You can see my Sharpie marks, little incisions right there. So I'm going to cut there, cut there, and then just bend that little piece flat. So then, because then as you can see, this goes like this as a 90 degree, but I need it to be flat. So then when it comes flat, I can bring up this, I can bring up this bracket and mount it like that. So it's just going to, and then I'm just going to drill holes through it and then that it's not gonna it's not gonna sacrifice any rigidity of the uh jdm lightweight bumper beam now it's gonna hang right below the thing and i think that's a lot better than the bracket that i was thinking of so this is what we're gonna go with gonna make those little incisions and we're just gonna cut it right there bend it and then drill some holes and then mount it and that is gonna be where the oil cooler is gonna be mounted let's get it <laughs> So as you saw, so there it is. Like I told you, I did a cut, did a cut, just did a little bending, and definitely does not reduce the rigidity of the bumper support at all. Uh, and then just drew a little bit holes, drilled some holes. They go through and through because the mounting bracket has welded nuts on the back end of it. So we got grade 8.8 .8 bolts that go through and through to the welded nuts on the back of the Mishimoto bracket. And it was really clean as you saw. It actually, the way I cut and measured it is perfectly just sitting in there. Um, so it's actually tight um, on the back end as well. Um, it's like the horizontal parts down here are holding it in as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, spray paint this. We're going to be done for the night. Uh, remember, if it's raw metal, you always want to spray paint it so it doesn't rust. So I'm just going to spray paint it with some quick black. And then we're going to go ahead and let it dry for the night. And we're going to complete the install tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and get started on that. So we got the oil cooler on now. We got it bolted. 
very sturdy. Uh, the the AN lines are gonna be tightened up here, and we're gonna. This is how I routed it, and I routed it right through between the radiator and the um, rad support. And it's just gonna go down, and the two lines here are gonna go into the oil sandwich oil filter here. So we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil now, thermo thermostatic oil sandwich. Then we're gonna hook up these lines, and the oil cooler is going to be done. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Alright, so now everything fits. We got the sandwich, we got the banjos. We got the banjos at a 90 degree angle pointing down. And you have to, no doubt, you have to take off the entire if you're running it with a stock header, you have to take off the stock header heat shield to fit this adapter and kit. There's no possible way. Um, so the tricky, the funny thing was, was that the bottom was easy. You saw it. It was just five bolts, and I used it with my electric ratchet. That was cool. Um, the top part is held on by three bolts. It's going to be one right here, and then there was three, two. So you have one right here and one right here, and these are not part. These are just welded on, essentially elongated nuts welded onto the header. So it's not part of the exhaust manifold anyways. There's no exhaust flowing through here, right? So there's bolts that went through here on top of the heat shield and they were so rusted out and rounded off, I could not take them off. So what I did was just, I just cut it from the most top part. Literally just had a, my, I have a carbide saw and just sawed it off super easily. So then you'll, that's the part I had, I got off. And then another problem you're gonna run into, if you're doing it with the car on, the top part heat shield is very hard to take off with the car in or with the header in. So what I did was over here, you're gonna have an, a come, the heat shield actually comes down here elongated. So that part you're gonna have to cut off. So then you'll have more um, clearance to wiggle out the top of the heat shield and it'll come out from this end. All right, so good luck. That's no doubt. Just get ready to take off the top and bottom heat shield of the header if you're gonna run this kit. All right. Gonna be a final check to show you what i did so here are the lines and the way i mounted it again how i mounted it on the bottom was that i made little incisions on the top so i just made little incisions right here little incisions right there right here and right here little incisions and then just bent and then just bent the metal drilled holes and then that was and then used the mishimoto mounting bracket to be honest, again, I would probably just buy my own kit next time, or I think you should. Um, and I would have ran a 90 degree angle right here too. Uh, the reason why this one's flat, because on the GD, it's supposed to be up here, remember? So this would actually be a good angle if it was like that high. But since mine is low and the entry point is right next to it, it would be better to have a 90 degree. Uh, just make sure you zip tie it wherever if they're close together, just so make sure it doesn't rub against other things. Um, and then so like I was saying so if I ran this further one if I didn't If I didn't if I didn't run it from up here as you can see it comes from down here This is to like relieve the slack because I had too much slack And I don't I mean I had too much slack It would be like all the way past the sway bar coming around and I don't want anything to be interfering with the tie rods in the sway bar Because when it's under load it's gonna be moving a lot and you don't want this like bouncing around everywhere um, Interfering with that especially with oil so I just relieve some of the slack so I could be equal, equal as possible with this one and it comes around and then you're here uh, and then you have the banjo bolts they're both 90 degree that point up you have the sandwich the thermostatic sandwich and then you have a brand new Subaru oil filter 
that is the install for the oil cooler, y'all. It was definitely uh, not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I already knew it wasn't gonna be a bolt-on situation. Nothing ever is a bolt-on situation with this car. How much you know kind of trouble it is honestly like i said i would just get my own lines um like if you do it here these you know, these lines are too long because they're meant for the gd um and you can see how i have to route them so if again if i do it again i would just honestly it's cheaper to build your own as well um but you know i, I got the sponsorship kit i got the discount i said might as well just try a new kit because let's, let's be honest when you swap these the 2002 2007 gd wx stis a lot of the parts are pretty much bolt-on for this car um it's like Legos, like they always say, right? From 93 to 07, it's ridiculous how many parts it's literally bolt on. Uh, this kit was not so much. And that's kind of my advice to you. Um, I'm glad this, I hope this helped you at all. Uh, I'm excited to pour the oil in. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just pour the oil in, check for leaks. Just wanna show you what oil I'm using. So Motul 8100 XS 5W40. And with the Killer B oil pickup, my capacity rose to six quarts so this is five quarts plus a single quart but with the mishimoto mishimoto states that this oil cooler increases the capacity to half a quart so now my full capacity is six and a half quarts uh so that's you know that helps all tremendously on the track spirited driving um you have great multiple oil as well a lot of it uh just keeps keeps true to its viscosity longer uh, helps with temps and overall just going to be great for the engine um, so yeah so that's going to be it we're going to go ahead and fill this up with some motul and that's it uh, and that's pretty much it so this video is going to be done hope to catch y'all later hope y'all enjoy don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button peace out y'all <laughs>